Now our framework's in place, uh, our little decals are in place, which are our dots, our periods, and then our text is in place. So now we can move on and add our octopus to finish this design up. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my octopus design here. Go ahead and rasterize it because it's already the size it needs to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of position it where it needs to be. I'm probably going to do it around there, or maybe not. I'll probably do it a little bit larger. That way he takes up most of the design. I like that a lot. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Like, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and add a stroke. The stroke's going to be a 45 stroke, and you're going to make the stroke a white. Go ahead and go to our design uh, folder again. Drag them above the text folder that we created. So everything's organized now. And we can make this folder octopus or octo. We're going to make a duplicate copy of him. We're going to rasterize that duplicate copy with the stroke. One's going to have a stroke. One's going to have uh, no stroke. The one that's uh, rasterized is going to have the stroke. So we're going to use that to make him look like he's going behind things. But before we do that, we're going to merge these two ellipse tools together after duplicating it. We need to keep one copy. And we're going to copy this circle that's on the inside. Uh, command C or Command C and then Command B to paste it. We're going to go ahead and delete that one. We don't need it anymore. So what's going to happen is we're going to drag this above everything else, right below the octopus. We're going to use a clipping mask to make this octopus stay inside of that circle. The octopus that doesn't have the stroke is going to stay inside the circle. The octopus that does have the stroke is going to lay on top of everything. So you'll see how this is going to work. All right, so now that we have a white 45 pixel stroke around our octopus, we're going to go ahead and um, do a couple things before we continue on. We want this octopus to work with our framework really well. He needs to look like he's kind of a part of it. You know, so we're going to make him go behind some structures of it, and it's going to look really cool. So, so go ahead and... Um, you're fine with the octopus now, we don't need it. So go ahead and hide that layer because we're not using it at the moment. All right, so now we're gonna take our ellipse one copy, ellipse one. We're gonna copy both of them. Do Command J, copy them. Right click, merge shapes. Actually rasterize them first. Rasterize both layers, then merge them. After you have merged them, go to your magic wand tool. I'm already on mine. You're going to select the white area of this circle. Do Command C, Command V. We're going to drag this below the octopus layer. Okay. So now that that's below the octopus layer, we're also going to copy the octopus layer. So our sorry, our our uh, circle is dragged below the octo file or folder. We're going to go into that octo folder, copy the octopus, uh, we're going to copy the octopus layer and we're going to drag it below the layer 7 circle that we copied right there. Now we're going to make sure it's above. So this stroke can actually be deleted. We don't need it anymore. One's going to have a stroke, one's going to have no stroke. So this, the one that's above the layer 7 is going to have no stroke. Now we can uh, unhide the octo layer or octo, octo folder. And we're actually going to keep this stroke. And we're going to rasterize him completely. So that stroke's going to become a, a solid part of this design. And after that, we're going to use a layer mask to, um, we're going to add a layer mask to delete what parts we want and what parts we don't want. So it's going to be, it's going to be a really easy method to make this stand out more. Um, before we do that, we need to take this vector smart object copy two, which is our duplicated octopus. And we need to hold in Alt, and we need to make him a clipping mask to that circle, which is layer 7. Okay? So now what you're going to see is the octopus is being forced to stay within that circle. So that's exactly why we did that. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and add a layer mask. You can do that right here by the effects palette, or effects tool. We're going to go to the paintbrush, make sure everything, opacity is at 100, flow is at 100, and... It's on a hard brush, not a soft brush, and hardness is 100, size is like about 115. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and delete what we don't want.
All right, so now that I have the areas deleted that I don't want, um, we're actually ready to clean the design up and then we're gonna start texturing it. So in order to clean this up, we're actually gonna white things out. So this background's white, obviously, right? We're gonna get rid of some things that are showing, uh, some minor things. So we can see this little black area showing, this little dot's showing, stuff like that we're gonna be getting rid of. So I have an easy method to do this. It's kind of a messy way, but um, some people would consider it messy. I just consider it necessary. Um, so go to your center circles, create a new layer above that, and we're going to actually make this white, this color white. And it's simple. We're going to be drawing white or brushing white where we don't want things. So minor things like that. See, now it looks a lot better. Um, one right here too. So it literally just show, we're just getting rid of little things that are peeking out that don't look good. All right, so now that we have everything finished, our octopus is in place, our text is in place, our framework's in place, and our decals are in place, we're ready to add the last finishing touch, which is just adding the word the. So under the ocean, so it continues. We're going to add the right where his uh, head is right here, where the octopus is head. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my text, our text tool, select black, and then just type out the in lowercase. So for pr this particular font, I'm going to change it up. I have a font called Pacifico. I'm going to go ahead and use this font. We're actually going to make it white. I'm sorry, because he's going to be, the font's going to be on top of black, so obviously it needs to be a lighter color. make it a little bit bigger so after I added the text I'm gonna go ahead and rasterize it we're gonna get a little messy here we, we need to make it uh, we need to make it look like it belongs to this head you know it's kind of following the curvature of that head so we're gonna go to warp Command T and then go to warp and we're gonna go ahead and try to warp it a little bit just to make it kind of look like it belongs there a little bit more As you can see it's already kind of looking like it it belongs there and that's that's completely fine right there Just make it have a little bit of a curve and it will look like it's natural. So that's completely fine move it a little bit more down and That works for me. So after you're done with your design everything looks like this by now or you know you kind of created your own version of this. Once it's all done, you're ready to do some texturing. So go ahead and duplicate your design layer. Hide the original design folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the background as well. You're going to merge the background copy with the design folder copy. All right, so now that that layer is merged, you're going to go ahead and go to filter. You're going to add a blur and it's going to be a Gaussian blur. So the type of blur is a Gaussian blur. We're going to add a 7.0 pixel blur to it, okay? Click OK. So once that blur is in place, you're going to go ahead and make another layer above design copy, which is your completed design that's already blurred out. Add another design layer. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure white selected because we're on a white canvas, so that texture needs to be cutting out of that black. And um, if you guys don't know how to make a, a texture or you don't have any good textures, I do have a video that teaches you how to make your own texture. So please watch that video um, before texturing this design. That way you know how to make your own custom textures and also you know how to use them. So after that, I'm going to add a layer mask. And if you notice, I use layer masks a lot. And that's because it's, you know, you can delete stuff really easily and then add stuff really easily. Very minimal work to, to, you know, to do that. So use layer mask. I really do recommend it. It's a lot easier than using the erase tool to get rid of stuff and then you can't go back. You know, you have to hit back a bunch of times. So this is the easier way. So um, I'm going to apply all my texture and then I'll see you guys uh, after I'm done doing this and then we'll add some color to it.
All right, so now that you have all your texture done, what you can do is you can merge everything together now. You're, you're, you're done texturing it, you can merge it all together. Um, and this is where the magic happens, or starts to happen. You're gonna go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and you're gonna make sure you use Legacy as checked. You're gonna adjust the contrast, raise it all the way to 100%, okay? Now what we're gonna do is use this Brightness uh, tool here, and we're gonna actually kind of mess with the, the texture a little bit and choose how much texture we want and how, you know, you pretty much can choose how much texture you want on the design or get rid of the texture more and more. I don't want, I really don't want it to show too much. I mean, I want it there, you know, I want it to be noticeable. I don't want it to be overwhelming though. So that's fine. So now our texture's added and what we could do is we can delete this background now. So what you want to do is you want to go to Select, Color Range, move this out of the way. We're going to select Black, kind of move it a little bit, go a little bit less than that. You can do about 190 fuzziness or 192 or whatever, it doesn't really matter. After this you can do Edit and you can do Cut. And what it did is it cut it out of that background, and I'll inverse that to show you. See? It cut it out of that background, now we can do Command V, paste that, and now your design is all cut out and it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and change my background layer, I'm going to duplicate it, change it to black by Command EI, that inverses it to black, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a color overlay to my design. After I added that color overlay to my design, I can change the color of it and what it did is it cut out all that texture so you don't see, you know, there's no discrepancies or anything like that. You, it, it literally is one layer now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this uh, goldish color, I guess you can say. And as you change the color, it will change it for you over here. So it's perfect, you know, because then you can kind of alter the way it looks and figure out what color you want to use for your design. So that's not the exact same color that I used for the other design, but um, I kind of like it. It's really bright. Um, so now that we're done, guys, that's it. You guys just created a shirt design. Um, there are a lot of things that you could do differently on this design. You know, like for instance, the the text could have been a little thicker. So I might have duplicated that t uh, the instead of merging it with everything and kind of keeping the thickness of it. But again, there's a lot of things you could do differently, and that's what makes the design unique because it's your design. So yeah, guys, your, your design's completely done now. You added your texture, your color at the end. It all looks great now. Um, if you guys followed along, you should have something that looks similar to this. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, subscribing, uh, just sharing, and hitting that thumbs up. It means a lot to me. I do this for you guys. Um, again, I'm going to be doing these videos every week on shirt design, and this is the first episode. So next week, you'll see episode two. I, I can't wait to do more for you guys. I'll see you next time.